It's Ken with DYC Studios. We are still at Gamescom, and right now we are at HyperX. Now, I am a big HyperX fan. I love the headsets and the microphones. In fact, I stream with them, so I'm really familiar with the brand, and I'm excited that we have Mark here today, and Mark's gonna tell us a little bit about their various products and their line, and I just, I, I'm gonna have to hand over the mic because Mark is the expert here. I'm not, and he'll be able to tell you about all the cool, exciting things, and I'm just gonna nerd out and watch things, okay? Okay. All right, here you go, Mark. Okay, thanks, Ken. Uh, yeah, so um, basically at Gamescom this year, we're bringing in a brand new line. Uh, we're looking at our very first range of monitors from HyperX, and we're going to be launching two different versions of the Armada brand. So we've got the Armada 25. This one is more focused for first-person shooter gamers. So you have a maximum FPS at 240 hertz, really for those really fast reaction times that people playing Counter-Strike, stuff like that. Um, it's an IPS panel, really good quality, one millisecond response time, full 1080p, so almost perfect for the people who play first-person shooters. And one of the main, uh, main features that we're having with it is it actually comes with a mount arm rather than a standard monitor stand. So that means that you have the full articulation of the monitor, you can move it through a full 180 degrees in either direction. The cooling of the monitor allows it to be placed in either direction without any worry about it overheating. And it also has the power supply built in to the monitor so you don't have the power brick to, again, make it easier to mount on the arm. Comes with a longer display port cable, a three meter one. Again, make sure it's nice and convenient to put on there. And on the end of the arm, you also have a proprietary plate that allows use of a eject button. And that means that it's nice and easy to clip the monitor on or off. However, if you do have a standard monitor, you can use a normal Visa 100 or Visa 75 mount that comes in the box with it. This particular monitor, the Armada 75, the arm supports up to four simultaneously. So you can just sit an additional arm on top. Perfect if you're streaming and you have to do the chat and everything like that. Or you exactly. Need you, you can turn one of the monitors sideways like you normally see in chat. And, and four monitors. Yep. That's crazy, guys. Four four monitors. Yeah, I, mine so. wouldn't even, my, my room would be full. That would be crazy. So yeah, the idea is left, right, top left, top right. There's also firmware functionality to allow them to be configured as one big monitor. Uh -huh. And customization for the monitors can be done via the Ingenuity program on Windows. So although you can also customize your keyboard and mouse, you can customize the monitor without using the joystick at the back if you prefer. Some of the firmware features for that includes a firmware crosshair and firmware frame counter so that you don't have to run extra software to get those in certain games. Then uh, the other monitor that we're bringing out today is the Armada 27. So as the name sounds, uh, it's a 27 inch one instead of 25. This one is more focused on open world games. So yeah, larger screen space. It's also 1440p up from 1080 and supports high dynamic range. It's HDR 400 compatible and has eight dimming zones to allow sections of the screen to be darker or brighter than others. Really makes some of the colors pop in open world games like the new Spider-Man, for example, that supports HDR. Um, the other thing with this one, the refresh rate is lower than the previous, but it's still 165 hertz, which is plenty for most people when they're playing those sorts of games. And the arm that comes with it, the same as the others, uh, supports two monitors, so you can still have the left and right display. It still rotates through the 180 degrees. And one other thing I should mention about the arms is that they actually come with two different ways of connecting them to a desk. So you have a grommet attachment, which allows you to put it through if you have a hole in the desk, slot it in that way, and it also comes with a G clamp. Oh, that's so nice. you can I screw would have it to in. Use the G clamp. Yeah, um, we did some research beforehand, and it turns out around 70% of gamers have a desk that is compatible with one or other of those. So we really wanted to be as inclusive as possible when we were bringing out this arm. In terms of the connectivity on the monitor, you have two HDMI 2.0s. 
and one display 1.4. And yeah, um, any other questions regarding yeah, the monitors? Well, no, the monitors sound like really amazing. Um, and I, I love it that it comes with the with the arm because I mean and I think you guys are pretty good with that with your microphones they come with everything all inclusive so for those who are trying to figure out hey I bought this monitor how I'm gonna how am I gonna set it up how am I gonna put it on an arm then what arm will support my money guess what you guys thought about that and boxed it up and made it a package deal guys that's pretty cool I mean one-stop shop right there you don't have to worry about it it's all ready to go and you have the two options of how you're going to mount it which is pretty cool and as you said that allows versatility with exactly. with the gamer and it basically empowers them for whatever they're going to do That's very cool we just want to be as inclusive as possible and um, you know we're all gamers is the hyperx slogan so that was the, the real mindset behind it. And so we're hoping with these two monitors, we'll support as many people as we can, and then we'll look in the future to expand the range. Very cool. And one other product that I'd like to talk about today is one of our new flagship headsets. Um, this one is the Alpha Wireless. You may have seen this, it's been out for a little while now, but it's something that we're really proud of. It's one of the uh, next generation of HyperX headsets with a 300 hour battery life. That's, uh, that's, on a single that's charge. awesome, because I mean, all right, now my wife's not gonna let me stream for 300 hours. She's gonna say, hey, Ken, you have to stop, you have to take a break. Come sit with me on the couch and watch Netflix. <laughs> but, you know, if you really wanted to go nonstop and have that marathon streaming, I guess you guys have their back then. Yeah, I mean, the way that we look at it is, um, especially during lockdown, working from home, charge it on the first day of the month, use it 10 hours a day, charge it on the first day of the month. There you go. That's that's clever. I love that. So um, the actual other features of this, other than the really good battery life, is it is a headset that has aluminium sliders on there. It's not. Just give you that for a second. I always like doing this because it, it does have I, I, I steel in the I would not be able to do that myself, but this is this is the expert here. And when he showed us this during the meeting, I was like, whoa, 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 because I've never tried that with mine. And uh, but that's really cool. It just shows you how durable the product is, and that it's gonna like. I told you like when I first came in that my cloud two still looks like it's like fresh out of the box and still sounds like it's fresh out of the box. So seeing that you can do that, it that's cool because you never know what could happen. Maybe the kids get a hold of it, maybe the dog or whatever. But you know what? It's still gonna be safe and still gonna work and like function the next day. And exactly, and it's partly due to as I said the steel within the headband, but we also have memory foam that is made specifically for HyperX within the ear cups and a along that headband. So the more you wear it, the more comfortable it actually gets. A couple of other features for it, detachable microphone, LED on there to let you know when the microphone is muted. And it's also got something that we uh, is called dual chamber technology. So you have an outer chamber underneath the ear cup there that all the base is filtered into. And then the highs and the mids come out the center of the ear cup which means you get crystal clear audio regardless of how loud or what you're listening to. That's really cool, I love that. And you said that the foam in there is red, that it matches the red. Now Yes, yeah, so we have uh, HyperX memory foam, which is specifically made for us, which if you had a look at it, it is red, but obviously... Don't. Yeah, guys, don't take a razor blade and cut up your HyperX headphone, <laughs> but know that, hey, that it is red on the inside. That's kind of cool. That's that's great branding. I mean, if, if ever <laughs> somebody actually had to open it up, but I don't think it would be good for them to do that, but it's yeah, still really, really cool. Nice avoid, to know. Avoid the warranty. <laughs> so we wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Very cool. And you also have this amazing microphone too that I heard that's fairly new, right? Yep, so in between our solo cast microphone and our quad cast microphone, we brought out the duo cast microphone, as the name implies. Two polar patterns for this one. Keeps a lot of the features from both of our previous mics, so the tap to mute feature on the top there. You do have the anti-shock mount to stop any noise coming through from the desk that it's mounted on. And the RGB ring, which can be customized via the software on PC, but it also is reactive. So if you adjust the gain, you can see the LEDs respond so you know easily what level of gain you're at. And if you change the polar pattern, it will indicate that's cardioid, it's picking up forwards only. Tap it again, full 360. That's nice, that's super cool. 
And now all this can be found in the HyperX store as well too. Is there other places that they can find this online or? It does depend on the country. I mean, uh, HP.com will start stocking some of our products as we're now part of the HP family. Um, but HyperX.com is where you can definitely get anything and it will then direct you to a local partner if it's not available directly from us in that country. Very cool, guys. I'm going to flash uh, the link to HyperX right now on the screen and the link to their Instagram, guys, because make sure you guys follow HyperX on Instagram. And I'll also include the links below. But, Mark, because we're at Gamescom, I need to put you on the spot because and I've been doing this with everybody. I can see your colleagues over here in the background smiling and laughing. They're like, what is Ken up to? What does he have in store? So my question for you is the million dollar question of the day. What was the video game that you grew up with that changed your life, that you were addicted to, that you loved, that your parents couldn't get you away from? Streets of Rage 2. Oh, that's super cool. And how many hours did you spend on that? Oh, uh, every day after school for about two years. So uh, I lost count somewhere around the 500 mark. But that was on the Sega Mega Drive or the Genesis for those of you in America. <laughs> but uh, no, it was one of my favorite games. I was so glad when they re-released Streets of Rage 4 on the PlayStation 5 a little while ago. I, as I said, grew up on that one. And they've just re-released the Turtles arcade game on <laughs> PS5. And it's amazing. Definitely go play it. See, now this is what I love about HyperX is not only are you guys making superb uh, things for gamers and for people that want to use it for streaming or for content creation or what have you, you guys are gamers at heart. And I think that's the most important thing because you guys know what gamers want and what's going to benefit them and how that's going to rock their world and just change their lives or whatever they're doing. So kudos to you, Mark. Kudos to the HyperX team. Thank you again. Thank you. Uh, again, I hope you guys enjoy Gamescom. If you're not here, check out the links. I know this video is going to come out after Gamescom, but check out the links to HyperX. Make sure you guys give them a follow as well, too. And Mark, thank you again uh, for sharing everything with us. It was super fun. Thanks for your time. It's been great. All right, guys. We'll catch you guys on the flip side, and we'll have more videos to come. We're here at the HyperX booth here at Gamescom. I have the master of HyperX right here, Greg. Can you tell me what people are experiencing at the booth here at Gamescom? Uh, so here, this year, obviously Gamescom is going to be our 20th year of anniversary for HyperX. We've been around Whoa. for 20 years. Remember, we started out as Memory with Kingston and now being part of HP. So we've grown big. Obviously, this is our consumer booth this year. So we just announced our new Armada monitors, ranging from our 25 to our 27 inch. Obviously, as well, we are also doing loads and loads and loads and loads of giveaways. We're doing every giveaways every two hours, every half an hour. We're also doing some social media ones as well, so there are plenty of ways to win HyperX stuff. We've got two different uh, things we can do at the booth today. So we've got the uh, Reverend Side Laser Maze, which is like a big laser maze where we have lasers across the side. Two people will go in. One person will wear these goggles that uh, take away all the lasers, and the other person's got to talk your way through it. So far, the record is four seconds. Four, Four seconds. seconds. Yeah, was, That's pretty very, crazy. It may have been a bit of cheating, but we're not too sure. But it was very quick. <laughs> we've also got Warhammer Dark Tide that you can play on all of our monitors as well. So there's that was quite a lot to do. We're very busy over here. That's really cool. I actually met one of the people who won one of the headsets through yeah. the maze. Uh, he's over at Goat Simulator. Yes. And uh, he was like so excited. He's like, Ken, guess what I won? And I go, no, show me. And he goes, <laughs> yeah, I got the HyperX Cloud uh, 2, I believe is what he won. Yes. And uh, he showed me like a little picture of like the laser uh, maze yeah. and oh my god that looks incredible curious what how fast have you gotten through it I uh, mean Stephen didn't finish it so uh, <laughs> you only get one go so we got halfway through and I managed to hit one of my hands on the laser that was it I was done so never complete the time so all still right yet, still yet to finish it so so, so Greg is not going to be your cat burglar if that's the person you want to partner up with now since we do have you one thing that I like to ask people at Gamescom is and this is going to put you on the spot real what? quick what is the game that you grew up with that you just loved and that would be really interesting, I think, for the audience to hear. Sure. So uh, the very first game I remember playing was the original Doom. So my my dad was a massive, huge, old school sort of gamer. So he had uh, the first Nintendo, he had the first PlayStation. Like he was a massive, avid uh, arcade gamer. So we used to have like a sort of one of those old portable arcade games you could get. And the very first one I remember playing was the very, very first Doom game. Probably not the best one for a very, very young child to sort of get into gaming, but I remember being it was that it was the most talked about game at the time. 
it was huge. I just loved it ever since. So, like I said, when the new one came out back in 2016, I first game over, proper, proper pre-ordered, played thousand hours. I was, I loved every second of it. So, Doom was the very first game I ever really played. Very cool, Greg. Thank you, thank you for uh, showing us the booth. Yes. And uh, yeah, guys, if you guys haven't been to Gamescom uh, and been to the HyperX booth, then make sure you guys check out their website yes. and their Instagram, by the way, too, and give them a follow. All right, thank you, guys and we will have more to come. Gamescom! 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 Gamescom, man!